नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इफ यू हैव येट नॉट सब्सक्राइब्ड प्लीज डू इट एज दैट वुड मीन अ लॉट टू अस लेट्स स्किप टू द मेन स्टफ डायरेक्टली वी विल फर्स्ट डाउनलोड एनआरएस कनेक्ट फॉर डेस्कटॉप ऐप यू कैन फाइंड द एक्सेक्यूटेबल फाइल इन द डाउनलोड्स एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड इट आई विल जस्ट शो यू हाउ द इंटरफेस इज आई वुड लाइक टू मेक माय सेल्फ क्लियर हियर दैट दिस इज नॉट द ओनली वे to do the setup but it is one of the way so in this nrf connect app you can have a look at multiple sub applications that can be installed uh, for this project sake or in general also i just require this programmer application so i will be i'll already installed it and you can install it as well you can also have a look at extra info about it by clicking on more info next you got to download nrf command line tools even though it is not required in our dongle but if you are using some other development kit it might be useful for you hope you have a vs code already installed if not you may install it right now now i already have vs code on my pc so i'll just go on to it uh in the extensions tab of your vs code you have to search for nrf connect for vs code and install that particular extension once it's installed then you just have to wait until it's available in one of your sub menus of vs code and it will have a symbol of nordic or kind of n after clicking that nrf connect symbol you will see an interface on your left side please pardon this expressive written all over the vs code as i've already installed esp extension as well we'll cover that in some other video right now you just have to install the tool chain the latest tool chain and you have to install the latest sdk uh, also remember that both of them have the same version number for my case it's 2.5.1 here you can see the list of all the files saved in one of the directories all right so now we are free to go and create a new application once you hit on create a new application you can create it from scratch or you can copy one of the samples right now we'll just be doing the most simple hello world program in microcontroller that is blink and led so we'll search for blinky sample and once you hit enter you can create it but as we already have that example with us we'll press escape for canceling it all right once you have your project with you 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 can see all sorts of thing available on the left hand side menu you have the project configuration file you have the main application file main.c you have the device tree files and so on but the most important thing after creating your application you need to have a build configuration file wherein you will define which board you are currently working on so you can just look at the list of boards available but for this example we'll be using our dongle board which is small nrf52840 chip based development kit all right so here is our main hero of the show the nrf52840 based dongle so this is a bluetooth based chip and to program it here we have a button which you have to press in order to enter the bootloader mode and thereafter you can program it using the usb protocol which we'll see in the later part of the video next we have a usb female to male cable it's not necessary to have it but it will be really great if you have such kind of adapter and it will really help you in programming this kind of board all right okay so it's show time we'll go to the left hand side of the menu and click build that will just create some hex files that we can upload finally to our board and we will click that button that we talked about eventually putting our board into bootloader mode
next we'll go into the nrf connect app and in the that we will select or open the programmer application we will wait for our device to be recognized once it's recognized uh, you have to click on the top left corner that is select a device and with that you can see it mentioned as open dfu bootload dfu stands for device firmware update so once you click that you can see the old files of that device on the right hand side and on the left hand side the files that will be uploading next you can browse your directory and select the particular hex file that you are so excited to dump to your mcu once you are satisfied with your particular file you can have a look at it in the left side region and of course click on write depending upon the size of your particular code the dfu will take its own time and finally it would be uploaded so in our case we can see the led is blinking blinking blink no it's not repeated i'm just trying to create an effect anyway that would be it for this video thank you for your patience if you finally made it till here if not then also thank you